Yo, yo, what's good? <clears throat> In this video, we'll talk about will Tank and Ryan fight this year. Is the contract signed? If so, this is my prediction. Let's talk about it. These are the questions that uh, we need answers to. Yes, sir. So my focus is on how I think this fight's going to go. In my opinion, I think Tank continues his KO streak. Ryan's training regimen is nothing like Tank's. Tank's style of fighting is different, different. Tank doesn't fight to outpoint you. No, no. He fights to hurt you, destroy you, mutilate you, knock you the fuck out. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact that Ryan isn't ready for that. Ryan's never competed against the level of opponent Tank's at. People fail to realize that Tank was under the tutelage of a Floyd Mayweather. No slight on Calvin Ford. Calvin Ford is one of the best trainers out here. But Mayweather, arguably the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. So I'm pretty sure a little bit of uh, Pretty Boy Floyd, not Money Mayweather, Pretty Boy Floyd has been downloaded into Tank's arsenal. Facts. Tank's going to either push the action where he's a come forward fighter leading with a power jab, <clears throat> setting up that KO punch, excuse me, <clears throat> whether it's a body shot or uppercut to Ryan's soft ass chin. Make no mistake, Ryan is a very skilled fighter. Okay footwork, yet flat-footed. Great combinations and fast fucking hands. However, he doesn't have enough in his arsenal to keep Tank off of him. Okay, let's say Ryan does catch Tank with his quick left hook. Tank already proved that he has a Viking chin. Whereas Ryan has proven he can't take a punch. I mean, we've seen Tank show different levels of his arsenal. He fights nothing but tall opponents with the exception of a tiny ass pit bull, Cruz, which he fought with one fucking hand for most of the fight, okay? Now two or three different weight classes uh, Tank's been in, one multiple belt and lost belts for um, not being disciplined, you know what I'm saying? But that's all right, you know, it's a learning experience, right? But that's all that's about, learning. And I'm not giving excuses, but I say that to say Ryan has not been through or come close to what Tank's been through or accomplished. This is no slight or bash on Ryan Garcia as a fighter, okay? Y'all already know that I give a fighter the benefit of the doubt. But facts over feelings, Tank KOs Ryan in the 6th or 7th round. This is definitely a step-up fight for Ryan Garcia. As I said earlier, this level of tank is at is different, different. Y'all don't understand me. The level that tank is at is different, different. Ryan ain't ready for the pay-per-view lights. This shit will hit his soul different, different. <laughs> so hopefully this fight happens, y'all. For us real unbiased fans, because um, this is about that I've been wanting and waiting to see, you know, for a couple of years now. And no, it isn't a step-up fight for Tank. He's already up, in my opinion. I've watched Tank mature over the years to become the superstar he was born to be, okay? And we have yet to see everything, okay? We have yet to see everything, people. I'm excited about this fight, family. I'm excited about who's going to be on the undercard. You know, it really should be 135, 140 pound weight class showdown, in my opinion. 
but we shall see. All right? Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified to when I drop these videos. And always, always shout out to the mighty, the almighty LDBC. Peace, y'all. Are you ready? What's up, my good people? Shout out to my brother, Mike Biggs Boxing, for the first interview ever. And I promise you, we already, I already put it into to, to the universe. Now we're gonna manifest this. This will be history.